how deep into the season do you know which games you're doing right now, Jim? I have a pretty good idea for the first 17 weeks. Obviously, 18 is up in the air with all those huh. divisional matchups and a lot of obligations to each of the broadcast partners. So that's impossible to handicap. But I could, I could rattle off right now one through 17 as best odds at this point. Okay, so because we we have a, a graphic, our crack Rich Eisen show staff has put together uh, notable CBS games, and I'm wondering how many we nailed. Uh, let's start with the Eagles-Patriots. You're, you're there for that one, right, Jim? I'll be there for that one. Tony Romo, Tracy Wolfson. We all are looking forward to being at Gillette Stadium to open up the season with the NFC champs. The salute to Tom Brady, which we talked about last night uh, on That's the right. NFL Network together. And... Um, the big presentation before the game, which I hope to be able to participate in. Yeah, did you did, now. did you hear two could, different shows? Yeah, for this. you said that last night. Uh, you said to RKK, hey, um, I, I can make it down from the booth to be part of that. Have the Patriots heard your your initial roof? <laughs> offering of your services? I'm still waiting by the phone at this point, <laughs> but hey, they've got a lot of planning to do. And as I alluded to last night, there'll be a lot of people nervous about. Well, wait, wait, wait a minute. You, we <laughs> got to come on the air and, and all of that. Um, we'll be fine. I mean, I know how to climb out of the booth uh, many times, in fact, at Gillette to run down to give the trophy away. That's a right. Bit of a high wire act. So now I can just do it in reverse, go from the field up to the booth. No problem. Just for Brady. And, and, and that's right. Yeah, so last I mean, night I need to be there for that. I'm so happy it worked out on our watch and it just feels uh, very fitting. I said last night, right. 102 Brady games in a New England uniform. I might have been. Uh, rounding up a little bit because I think all total, I think it's 106, hmm. including his Tampa career, but it's somewhere right around 100 in a Patriot uniform. Almost a third of his games uh, I had, along with the great Phil Sims and with Tony, um, we had a chance to see that many Brady games in person. And that'll be week one. And then uh, I believe, you know, my, my the crack staff is, is chosen too because – you know, Ravens at Bengals is significant, but I imagine you and Tony, I think you said last night, you're going to be Jets at Cowboys. You're going to get Rogers' All first right, road game, right? Let's set the record straight here. Anytime you have a doubleheader window yes. uh, on CBS, so you're looking at the two games, you can automatically cross off whatever the 1 o'clock matchup is. We're always going to do the 425 There game. you go. Okay. doesn't matter how sexy the matchup is at 1. The 425 game, this pertains to not only CBS but Fox as well, mm -hmm. is going to be about 50% higher. So there's no way we're doing a 1 o'clock game, no matter how good it is. And, yes, the Jets-Dallas is one of the best games that we procured. It's a big one. Rodgers on the road. Rodgers against Dallas. Uh, Jets' first road game with this new look. Uh, I, I'm thrilled by this game. That is going to be something else. I mean, um, Rodgers in Dallas, I, I remember that was his first coming out party in the old Texas stadium when it was far versus your current partner in your booth, uh, Romo. That was on a Saturday night on NFL Network, and both teams were incredible, yeah. and it was for the, the lead in the entire conference, and Favre, of all things, gets hurt. And Rodgers comes in, and I'll never forget, we were all sitting there in the end zone watching that, waiting for halftime, saying, oh, my goodness gracious, this guy is amazing. And that guy was, of course, <laughs> Rodgers. I'll never forget that. Never. It was early for NFL Network to be doing games. It might have been yeah. even season one. It, it was a big one sitting out there all year long. People were saying, this is not going to be on one of the major networks. No, it's going to be on the NFL networks. There was tremendous buildup. I remember it well. Mm -hmm. It's hard to believe it's that long ago. Um, and how everything has grown from there is pretty interesting. But Jets-Dallas uh, is one of the top games of the year for any network. And then maybe are you going to get Patriots at Jets the following week? You think you'll be there in now, New York? Now I'm going to get into the handicapping business here. If there's a Denver at Miami game that's out there. This yep. is a regional week for us. There you go. But I would right now go with New England at the Jets. That would be something else, too. I mean, Rodgers, I, I, again, and I, and I know there's tons of – we got on the screen right here. We don't have to do the entire interview this way. There's tons of Chiefs Arrowhead logos on our screen right now, but – there's a ton of Jets logos yeah. up there, too, Jim. I mean, this is story of the offseason, story of many seasons that, once again, the Jets are putting their eggs in the basket of a first ballot Hall of Famer who was done with his Packers career. It's unbelievable how this is happening again. And this young Jets team appears to be just, this is the exact ingredient that they, they need right now. 
it looks well, like. And they have a receiving core, a great blend of young talents like Garrett Wilson to go with guys that some of the stalwarts that he's comfortable with coming over from Green Bay. So there is no reason for this not to work out for the Jets. It's not like Aaron Rodgers has lost his fastball. He can still play, and uh, barring any injuries here, this should be a really big season for them. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku Channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free. 